Nah, I ain't no longer <laughs> with Steve. I don't subscribe no. Wow. That's that's crazy, man. That's 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 a tip that uh new people need to learn, man. Y'all need to put that phone down while y'all while y'all driving. You know what I'm saying? Try to get this try to soak up all this knowledge. Y'all can't do that if y'all constantly on the on the phone arguing with your girlfriend, boyfriend, mother, daughter, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If y'all gotta if y'all gotta be on the phone to argue with your people, y'all don't need to be in, in, in the truck, man. So damn, that's <laughs> that's crazy, man. So what what made you, you know, four years with Stevens, man, what and training? I mean, you was making you you was making money, you know, on top of the money that you, you know, that you was making. Uh how how much you was, you know, as a trainer. How how much you was averaging with Stevens as a trainer, bro? It it's hit or miss, bro. I mean, only reason why I say it's hit or miss, see, you getting like a dollar to change my, and you know that you got to make sure that goddamn student at least can drive for eight hours. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? In in the seat for eight hours. So and you at least he can bust. So you say so. so oh, and, so, so you saying that you know, coming into Stevens is is okay, but but the money is really in training. Yeah, Stevens they 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 make their money off of training. Okay, okay. So what's so for for a new Jack that's coming into the game? How how much they gonna how much they gonna start you off at with Stevens? You want the honest answer? Yeah, man. Oh, you want you down? No, yeah, straight, five, straight, five, no chaser, eight, my five. G. What's what's straight, no chaser? What 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 Stevens gonna what Stevens gonna offer these new jets that's coming in that that's coming in with them? How how much they gonna how much and what they do? Simper mile or per, or percentage? Simper mile. So I think it's forty eight, man. Forty eight. When I left. Is that for a new? Is that for a new Jack that's coming in, or a new Jack that got experience? New Jack coming in, experience. You can goddamn probably work your little meal ticket. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, but so, but from forty eight cent to if somebody if if they wanna if they wanna train if they wanna train it jumps up to what? Uh, no, you still. Basically, you just get paid off of his miles. Oh, okay. The additional miles. Okay. Okay. Woo. That's crazy. So what made you leave? What what made you leave uh Stevens to go to your current company? Uh just favoritism, really. Favoritism, deep out, uh just a conglomerate of things, bro, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh if the truck ain't moving, you really ain't making no money. And me being shut down for like a week just because of the CPAP shit. When other companies, hey, you got a CDL? Come on. Right. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And, and, and I, I got whooped with that. And dealing with them students not getting no good sleep. It's like, you know what, man? I should have to train no goddamn student to make over $3,500. Right. And they say, oh, you can pick your destination, but it'd be shit that I already got them picked over. You know? When they give you them planners and shit, and you call, oh, well, I don't have nothing going that way. I don't have nothing going that way. I don't have nothing going that way. But I got this. And then you got some planners that'll say, oh, you're going to take what, what I give you. Mm. And he probably might hear this, and other drivers might know who I'm talking about. So you and they're gonna bounce you back. They're gonna bounce you back from Chicago, Illinois, Evansville, to New York. Mm. So that's what's up, man. So, so, in other words, Stevens is is more of a more of a starter company than a company for say a driver that got like three, four years. Yeah. They basically like start a company 
for uh, my senior citizen driver. You no, know? mm-hmm. but that's that. But you got some guys though uh, that you know crack whip on them students and 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 and, and make it. But I just. I just ain't got time. Ain't got. I feel like I should. If I'm out here, I should at least make four thousand, four to five grand a week. You know, Shit, if I'm taking know. full responsibility. Bro. Shit! In order to do that, bro, you, 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 we, we got to, you, you got to get into what you said on your TikTok that you didn't want to do. So let's, uh, so let's switch gears, man. So how, how long you been on? How long you been doing uh videos on TikTok? And do, do you, do you have a YouTube or, or why, why did you, ch- if, if not a YouTube, why did you choose TikTok over YouTube? Well, I started out YouTubing at first, just you know what I'm saying, just to get a, get a get a feel of it, you know what I'm saying. But I stopped YouTubing because I wanted to focus on learning the business side of trucking. You know what I'm saying. I felt like with with vlogging every day, it was you know what I'm saying. It it, it don't be. I couldn't get a chance to vlog like I, I wanted to. Mm-hmm. So I, I pretty much stopped YouTube and then when uh my daughter be on TikTok and I was just like, you know, checking it out and I was like, fuck it, man, let's go ahead and just, you know, step onto the platform. Okay. How long how long you been on how long you been on the platform? Hello? For? Yeah, can you hear me? Hold on right quick. Hold on. Yeah. All right, we still good. We still good. All right, so how how long you been on uh how long you been on the platform for? Uh, shit, man, I probably been on the platform a few months, bro. Oh, okay, okay. So let's let's get into the video that uh that that caught my eye. You uh, <laughs> you said you said in the video that you didn't want to fuck with uh a LLC. Why? It's the responsibility portion of it, bro, and me being out here, I'm by myself, really, just, it, it, it be goddamn a lot, you know? It's just trying to handle everything. It, it, I, sometimes I just be feeling like it's too much for one person, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when you reach out for help, for like family members, you know, they don't want to help. But they they got them. They want to ask for that money though, when they need it, or when they become in a fine. But it 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 just be like too much. Fuck this shit, you know. But you know, you know, you know to make the kind. You know, I I've been, you know, trying to get a hold of of companies that you know that's that are six figure companies, and I have yet to you know to talk to a company like a regular company uh a company driver to make six figures unless it's a specialized type of company like you know like specialized haul heavy haul uh flatbed um maybe a cattle hauler because i I talked to a cattle hauler and you know they said they can make an upwards of uh of six figures with that but in order to see six figures, you, you really have to be, you know, either a lease driver uh, that's making more than a dollar a mile or an owner operator that's uh, that's 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 hooked up with uh, with a good broker. So. Right. So in order, you know, in order to see that, that's, you know, that's 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 where the money at. In trucking, but not, you know, I agree with you. Not everybody has that mindset of being an owner operator or, 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 you know, could get the grasp of the, of the business side of trucking. You know, we got all these, we got all these guys that's, that's like, oh, well, when I get in here, I want to, 
I want to go ahead and uh, buy my own truck and and everything is going to be all right. But if you don't learn the business side of it before you get your truck, man, you're going to fail. So, I mean, I, you know, like I said, your video, you know, you made a you made a good point. You made some good points on your on your video. But a couple of you had some backlash on that, though. So what what was some of the backlash yeah. that you that you got off that video? Uh, thanks to drivers, you know, I mean, I, I appreciate everybody for the love, the support, the follows, and everything, bro. It's all love coming from our way, giving and receiving. So, it was just like, you know, oh, you stupid, uh, I wouldn't be a company driver, oh, uh, you just need a, a five dispatcher, you just need somebody to help you. And then, you know, all the love was like, hey, bro, stay in it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit given to you. Mm -hmm. Everything that you do, you got to work for. Right. You know, uh, started from the bottom, it, it, it's always going to be some challenges. But when you have life-changing events, you have uh, debt, you have kids that, that, that need you to be some type of way involved in their life, it becomes a, a multitude of bullshit that some of you ain't gonna able to get to. You know, and you out here, you trying to chase down that dollar or that next big load or that $10,000 load or that $9,000 load, you know what I'm saying, within that week. You know, I mean, constantly doing that and, and, and also paying bills back at home and trying to, like, manage the two, it becomes a heavy weight in your lap. The way you like, man, fuck this shit. You know? Yeah. But I don't like this. I, my pride won't, 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 won't show and tell other people that I'm struggling. I need help because of my pride. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a man, shit, I really just laugh at it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, talk my shit, say what I'm gonna say, and keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And that's the good Lord to let me see a better day than I was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. That's what's yeah. up. And again, with you know, with TikTok, the platform. I mean, it's a double edged sword with with TikTok. I mean, you know, TikTok is is easy to get. You know, over YouTube, it's it's hella easy to get flop followers. I mean, I mean, it's only a it's only a hot you know a hot minute or two or three minutes that you give. Somebody scrolls up, see it, like it, follow you, boom. With YouTube, it's a lot of it's a lot of fucking work as far as uh, getting subscribers though. But with TikTok though, you 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 got too many. I mean, even though it's a trucking community that's coming over to TikTok, but it's still a kid's platform, though. And a lot of the motherfuckers that be in the comments are not even drivers, so they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. You said that they're not what? They're not even drivers. They're not even drivers. They're not even truck drivers. Some of the, <laughs> some, you know, some of them in the comments you know, you, you get a handful of truck drivers that see your comments and you could probably tell the difference. But majority of them that be talking that, that stupid shit aren't even fucking drivers, bro. Bro, but they on the outside looking in, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Bro, you're going to have where you go in life, no matter what platform you stand on, you're going to always have haters or somebody to throw a rock at you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like my daddy say, hey, bro, shit, sometimes going to always stay. But you got to learn how to just, hey, okay, bro, okay, your opinion is heard. Let's keep it moving. You know, I mean, for us trucking in, everybody, to be honest with you, I got my license and CDL off of you. I looked at truck drivers like, uh, on, what's his name? Trucker School. And uh, what's the female that got a body to keep it 100? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? After watching them on a day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis, 
I was like, see, if they can do, I can do. What make me different from them? You know? Right. And to my LTL community, hey, them boys work. The hand touching that shit, unloading it every day. I did it. You know what I'm saying? I I I I, I know they train. You know what I'm saying? But I can't live off of twelve, eighteen, seventeen, even twenty one hundred dollars a week. Won't even do shit for me. So it's it's and to step on TikTok platform with, with the whole trucking thing is to like shit, man. I just need to talk my shit. Somebody need to hear me because shit, I'm in this motherfucker by myself. I ain't got nobody else to talk to, and I damn sure ain't about to talk to myself. <laughs> That's what's up, man. So, That's what's up. So it's a you know it's 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 a gift and a curse. It's a curse to my kids that I can't be around them as much as that as I used to be when I was uh, local. But now that I'm, I'm OTR, it's like, you know, when, even when I do come home and, and, and we party, you know, how, even for the two, three days, four days that I'm there, we party. How, how's, how's that being on the family? Are you married? How, how's, that, how's that on the family? It's a toll on them. As much because you know football games you miss, uh, award ceremonies you miss, I, uh, and constantly you know oh when you coming home when you coming home when you coming home when you coming home, I be really don't be want to hear that shit you know what I'm saying when I'm there I'm there if I'm not I'm just not you know uh, it, it's it's a toll on them. Uh, sometimes in the back of my head I feel like I let them down because I'm not there. To uh, you know, help them out with certain things, but at the end of the day, you know, they do reap the rewards off of my benefit. You see what I'm saying? Right, exactly, exactly. That's you know, same thing with me, man. My son, you know, even though he's a grown ass man, but I still, you know, this this what I'm out here doing it, doing it for him. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that, you know, making sure that his you know his kid when whenever he decide to have one will be all right you know what i'm saying off the you know off exactly. off off of what i done you know exactly bro it, it will hurt my heart to see my daughter up on the pole somewhere walking the street corner or or just you know get tied up with a with a no good fella or or and, or, or on tiktok doing them doing them single tiktok dances <laughs> it, it, it will hurt my heart but you know for others to, to sit here and say oh I got a daddy that provided for me mm -hmm. and even my son you know my daddy was there for me on, on every end for his, the money took and our relationship took you see what I'm saying yes. and, and yes a lot of games I can't make it to but when you step out on that goddamn field, motherfucker, I paid for them goddamn cleats, some gold cleats your ass running around in, or the helmet, a tin strap, or, you know what I'm saying? I made, I opened up doors for you on on, on every end. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, Marcus. So I'm, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, I'm just saying, even though I'm not there, that, I, you know what I'm saying? Just that's to give my children a better Oh, you keep breaking up. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. 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 Marcus, man, you know, that that's that's what us fathers do, man. You know, our 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 focus is always on our children, man. No matter how no matter how old they are or how old they get, man. Our our focus is is always on their children. And I give you, you know, I, I give you the most, you know, appreciation for you even you know still being 100 with your kids man because a lot of a lot of fathers you know there's a lot of fathers out here that don't even have that opportunity to be you know to be that 100 with their kids and some of them just be bums and shit but for you man for you know for you to still you know to be out here doing what you're doing sacrificing what you sacrificing your needs and all like that to make sure that your kids needs is taken care of i commend you i commend you wholeheartedly for that yeah, yeah, bro. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. But, you know, those children, boy, they, they, because it's their future, you know? 
And if you don't have some type of manipulation in it, then it's, they're going to fall by the wayside and get tied up in some goofy shit that, you know, might have to reap consequences from it later. Exactly. So I, I'm, I'm out here for them, you know? And I make sure that's known. Exactly, man. Well, Marcus, man, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate the convo. You know, awesome conversation tonight, man. You are a citizen. So if there's anything else that you want to talk about or, you know, any changes or anything like that, man, you know, hit me up. You know, you got my comp, you know, you got my uh contacts and uh, you know, get at me and we can, you know, chop it up on another topic. Hey, bro, I just wish the whole truck community can come together on one platform and share information and, you know, live life gracefully. Oh, that, that's a whole, bro, you, you you just opened up a whole nother conversation on that, man. So we, we might have to come back on that one because <laughs> I, I, I don't think I, I don't think the trucking community is going to ever come together, especially when you got where you got uh you know, different truckers out here that's just, you know, for the for the me, me, me. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's me, me, me. Hey, bro, it's, it's all about me. It's me this, me that. So. It's coming. It's coming. In due time, it's coming. It may not happen right now or, or when Rome got them, got destroyed, but it's going to happen. Right, right. For sure, for sure. All right, my G. Well, it sounds like uh, it sounds like they still loading you, man, and you uh, you stay safe tonight. Again, man, I appreciate the conversation, and this uh, this has been a good one. Uh, I'll let you know when it's uh, when it's chopped down and edited, and I'll send you the link, and you can go ahead and share it on your social media when it becomes available. Hey, bro, I appreciate you, man. It's been a blessing. Oh, for sure, man, for sure. Like I said, you know, whenever whenever you need to reach out, man, I'm here. Just uh holler at me. You got all my contacts and uh and we can, you know, make it happen. I appreciate I appreciate you, Bro. you know. I appreciate you. I thank you and everything that you do, man. Hey, man, follow me on TikTok. I got some more content, you know. It ain't over with. Uh, you know, country and goofy as hell, bro. You That's got it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I'll write you later, bro. You take it easy. Yes, sir. All right, now.